Well, here we have multimedia logic, and we're going to take a look at this palette over here. And this is an ASCII display. I need that guy. This is a keyboard. I need him. And this is the switch. I need this guy, too. These one, two, three items. I'm going to get them now. I click on ASCII display. Click over here. I click on the keyboard. Click over here. Then I click on the switch and click over there. I'm going to click on my arrow guy. And let me move these fellas closer to each other. Like so. There we go. And uh, let's change this, this switch. Right click, properties. Go to momentary and change him to a push button. That's what we need. All right, now yeah. I'm going to grab the wire tool and connect up the push button to the reset button. And let me line these up a little bit better. Yeah, that's nice. Now I click on the wire tool. I connect 7 to 7, 6 to 6, 5 to 5, 4 to 4, 3 to 3, 2 to 1. Two to two. One to one. Zero to zero. And E to C T. There we go. We're set now. Now I click on this uh, arrow again. And I'll move the palette out of the way. And now we're set to uh, run our program. So I'm going to click on the Run Simulator. Watch what happens to our keyboard icon on the screen. Oh, a big a big it's not working sign shows up here well if i hit my keypad my actual keyboard on my desktop right now it's not going to work nothing's going in but if i click on this keypad one time here i go boom that circle with the line going through that disappears and now my keyboard is functional this is a test From George. Oh. And it appears that the ASCII this display is working well that's amazing okay I don't want to see this message anymore what do I do well I go over here to the reset button the push button I click on it all this will be reset back to a blue screen oh there we go that's amazing it's that simple that's how you do this. Connect the push button up to reset. 7 to 7, 6 to 6, 5 to 5, 4 to 4, 3 to 3, 2 to 2, 1 to 1, 0 to 0, and E to CT, and then hit the simulator, and it runs. Then click on the keyboard. Get rid of that nasty red sign, and then your keyboard works very well. Amazing. Well, thanks for watching. And this is George Vole. Bye-bye now.